Morning folks, here we are today at the allotment and this is January the 24th, 2016. Um, it's just going to be a little plot update today and um, just to let you know what we're getting on with at the moment. As you can see, it is very overcast today and there's, I think, a 60% chance of rain. Um, so we'll see what we can get done today um, and go from there. Okay folks, here we are at the composter again. Now we've got some stuff to go in it this week. Um, as you can see, I've, I've been topping it up throughout the week. Now I've got my own supply of coffee grounds and I've been doing a bit of research and these are quite good for the, um, the soil and worms love it apparently. The ones I've been adding already, there's been thousands of worms in there. So I've got from my supplier, um, I've got, not mayonnaise, um, some coffee grounds which I'm going to add now to the composter, if I can get it open. There you go. As you can see, nice, rich, thick coffee grounds. And all I'm gonna do is add this to the composter, um, and I'll keep adding this every time I get it, I'll keep adding it. Um, and hopefully it'll encourage more worms in the composter to break everything down, as you can see. Break everything down, um, hopefully a little bit quicker, really. So here we go. Just break it up a little bit. course you can just put this straight into the ground mix it all in um, and it's great like I said for all the worms and everything like that as well we'll see what it's whoa we'll see what it's like next week hi guys I just want to show you quickly inside the um the composter, the open composter for the manure and compost and things like that. Now, this is the manure I got from the farmer. Uh, it's a few months ago now, um, and it is free sort of manure. Now, as you can see, or I hope you can see, there's things starting to grow in it. So obviously what the horses and things have had. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that now for probably till spring, and then hopefully when we come to use it, um, it might even be next year I use it now, let it rot down a bit more. Um, hopefully we'll be able to pick out all the stuff or kill it off or whatever. So, you know, it's, there's nothing in it and we can turn it over um, every so often as well. But I just wanted to show you, it's only been a week and there's already things starting to, to grow in it. Which is a bit of a pain to be honest, but it's such good stuff. You know, it swings and roundabouts really. Right, time for some digging. You don't need to see this. I'll come back once I'm done. Hey guys, as you can see, there's some part dug over now. My theory is digging it over now in January, it's going to be softer, but it's easier to pull out the weeds as well. Um, I don't know how everyone else feels about it but that's just my theory it is a lot easier and then by the time spring comes along and you've got new growth it's a lot easier to de-weed you've only got the new ones um, and obviously you're bringing all the seeds that are in the ground up to the surface as well so it is you know it is a lot easier then that's my theory that's how I do it um, let me know what you think but it's taken me about an hour now to dig this over and all I'm gonna do is give it some um, pellets now some fertilizer pellets 
just to get it going ready for the spring. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so all we're going to be using is grow more um, pellets. And all I do is because that's what they like. Now, I'm not a sort of measure out type of guy. So I just get a handful and sprinkle them in. And all it's going to do is replace all the nutrients and things that are missing from the soil. Now, it's not the only thing I put in there. There will be manure and compost and things like that. But this is just a kickstart ready for the spring. And that's all there is to it guys, that's all I do. And then like I said, before I come to planting then, a couple of weeks once it's dried out a bit, um, we dig it back over again, um, and then we can start putting more fertiliser, compost, manure, whichever you use really, uh, back in and then ready for growing. That's probably it for the digging today. Um, it is very sticky, but it is easier to pull out the weeds. But we found that useful. Um, as you can see there's not a lot going on really um, we're doing just digging it over and things like that there's not a huge amount we can do at the moment um, apart from de weeding sort of stuff out um, I haven't got all the material to the um, build either yet and it's been a bit wet in the woods all damp now so we need that to dry out so there's not much going on like I said um, we're just digging it over getting the weed sorted um, what's everyone else up to? Has anyone started planting anything yet? That's what I kind of want to know at the moment. Um, am I behind? Am I ahead? Um, let me know. Cheers.